Brian DeMoncos and Carl Wetlofer are with the Colorado Snow Survey Program. Each winter and spring, that work takes them into the mountains to measure snow depths firsthand. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's, of course, one of, the fa one of my favorite portions of the job. But what they found this season is pretty disappointing to many. 63.5. Colorado's mountain snowpack was just 66% of normal when last measured in early April. And this state is not alone. Colorado, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico particularly are really seeing very low snowpack. This past winter saw fewer storms than normal in large parts of the U.S. West. Combine that, experts say, with a planet that's significantly warmer than it was three, four decades ago. And that's started us down a path where this region is just drier than it used to be. The dryness the University of Colorado Boulder's Doug Kenny refers to is reflected in this U.S. drought map. The darkest shades denote areas currently in extreme or exceptional drought status. Kenny says the Colorado River system, which supplies water to nearly 40 million Americans, has enjoyed much less snow melt than it typically does. A year like this makes people in Arizona nervous, makes people in Los Angeles nervous, people in Las Vegas nervous, um, just because it erodes their long-term water supply. Some reservoirs are half empty. Farmers and ranchers who depend on water from streams that are fed by snow melt could be in trouble this year. That's not all. One big concern is aquatic life. After all, fish need water every day. Depleted streams could seriously impact fish habitat. How are you doing? Lean snowfall has already hurt ski resorts. This report from the organization Protect Our Winters found that low snowfall years in the U.S. resulted in 5.5 million fewer skier visits each year and over $1 billion less in revenues. It used to be that at Thanksgiving we had booming holidays at resorts and now resorts are lucky if they're able to open by Thanksgiving. What we make in those high snowfall years isn't enough to offset what we lose in those low snowfall years. Kenny says just like in drought plague places like Australia and South Africa, water conservation in the U.S. West will be critical going forward. This isn't a case where we just hunker down for a year or two and things will all get better. The world has changed. And we have to adapt to it. It's a long-term challenge, he says. 30.0. And these snow depth numbers are yet another reminder. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, near Berthoud Pass, Colorado.